Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon, so good afternoon. <laughs> thank you, Emma, for that wonderful introduction. And thank you to the Ferraras from Standard Heating for hosting us here today. We are so proud that uh, Standard Heating chose to relocate in North Minneapolis and keep their jobs in the city of Minneapolis. Right. Yeah. I also want to thank Freddie Davis English and Eric Reichwald and Angela Kingsbury who did all the food and all the arrangements for today. A special thanks to Linda Higgins. Uh, Linda and I have been through pretty much everything two people could go through together, including about 35 years of politics, and I am so pleased that Linda has honored me by agreeing to be my campaign treasurer. For this here, here. Yeah. And I'd like to introduce my mom, Pat Parker. Yeah, Pat! My sister, Sarah Par Parker, and her partner, Don Cochran. F. Clayton Tyler. And of course, you've all met my beautiful daughter, Emma. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. I am Jackie Cherry Holmes, and I am running for mayor of Minneapolis. Yay! office 11 years ago and during that time during the last 11 years I've learned a lot of things I've learned from being a mom I've learned from owning my own small business I've learned from working on the outside of government and I've seen what works and what then eh, not so much I've been an engaged citizen and I've learned from that and during that these last 11 years I didn't go anywhere my family and I recommitted ourselves to the city of Minneapolis and I found new ways to contribute as a citizen. <laughs> All these experiences, together with my experiences as an elected leader and a community organizer, all uniquely position me to change, transform, and lead this city. All right. All right. Well, a, a city that is a safe place to live, work, and raise a family, a city where we get value for the property taxes we pay, a city of opportunity, a city that works for everyone. All right. I've lived all, I've lived all my life in Minneapolis, in Seward, Cedar Riverside, Logan Park, near North, Willard Hay. I've worked in the neighborhoods of our city, from Longfellow to Uptown, from Jordan to Elliott Park. I know our city's neighborhoods. I've organized residents, I've chaired neighborhood organizations, and I've gone door to door many times knocking on people's doors, organizing them to make their neighborhoods better. I've built and managed affordable housing. I've created jobs. I've attacked crime head on and helped make our neighborhoods safer. I've spent my life bringing people together, bridging differences and finding common ground. I'm not afraid of challenges. I know how to make difficult decisions. I work hard. I get things done. And that's what I will do as the city, as the mayor of the city of Minneapolis. <laughs> Minneapolis is a great city, and it needs to be a city that works for everyone. A city with a strong tax base, a city with jobs for its residents, a city that is safe, a city that takes care of itself and where its people take care of each other. A city that works provides value for tax dollars. Young families, senior citizens, everyone expects and must get high quality services for the taxes they pay. Our potholes must be repaired, our traffic must move smoothly, our trash must be picked up quickly and efficiently, and our neighborhoods and downtown must be clean. A city that works is a safe city. Residents, police, businesses, all must be partners in keeping our neighborhoods and downtown safe. We must have confidence that our fire department is well staffed and that public safety will respond efficiently and quickly in our moment of need. 
Public safety is something that I know a lot about. For the past 30 years, I have worked to forge partnerships between residents and the police department to increase the safety in my neighborhood. This is not something I have just talked about. This is something I have done. A city that works is a green city. There are a lot of green initiatives going on in our city right now. Target Center has a, a green roof. We have beautiful parkways. We have nice rides everywhere. But we can do more. I worked with our friends at Minneapolis Refuse to bring about the single sort recycling system. And I thank them for being here with me today. I worked with our partners at Stair Step, His Works United, and Covanta to educate residents on the importance of recycling. And I thank Al Reverend Al Alfred Babington Johnson for being with us today. I work with Better Futures Enterprises to use recycling as a way to create jobs for unemployed men. And the folks from the network are here today, and I thank them for joining us. We need to strengthen the Green Jobs Initiative at Summit Academy, and we need to adopt policies that promote deconstruction instead of demolition of buildings. A city must create jobs. Creating jobs is job one. Jobs in manufacturing, small businesses, home-based or micro-businesses. I applaud Mayor Ryback's work in youth employment with Step Up. But now, now we need to focus on jobs for adults. Because it all starts with a job and we need to put people to work. There is absolutely nothing more important to the stability of our city and that we make sure our people are working. Yeah, Parents need jobs to pay the rent, mm -hmm. to buy food, to pay utilities, and to buy warm clothes for their children. Hungry children don't perform well in school, mm -hmm. and children in distress look for structure, wow. sometimes in the wrong places. Their parents need jobs. Mm -hmm. But to do this, we have to have a clear plan about how we're going to grow jobs. First of all, we need to be partners with the business community to ensure the economic strength and vitality of downtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to have businesses downtown like Target and U.S. Bank yeah. and Wells Fargo, just to name Absolutely. a few. Mm -hmm. Downtown should be and can be a greater job generator for our city. Amen. We need to have more jobs downtown. Secondly, we need to work to build our commercial corridors. Central Avenue, West Broadway, Franklin, Hiawatha, all are potential job generators. There's exciting work going on in the Native American community on Franklin Avenue, and we need to look at their best practices and adopt those as a model for other commercial corridors. Small businesses with fewer than 50 employees are a huge <coughs> source of jobs in our city. Many of these are on our commercial corridors. Many are women and minority-owned businesses. We need to work with these business leaders to bring jobs to our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Pulse on businesses looking to relocate. I'm really, really tired of picking up the paper in the morning and seeing another company that decided to look outside of the city of Minneapolis to relocate their business. We have opportunities here, and Minneapolis should be their first choice. But in order for that to happen, we need to let those businesses know that we want them here. And more importantly, that we have a workforce that is ready, willing, and able to work right here in our city, and we want to partner with them. We will create jobs in Minneapolis when we have a clear plan for growth, a streamlined city process, tools in the tool belt, and a can-do attitude. Our city will grow when we create jobs. A city that works has partners. Partners at all levels of government, in the business community, with the University of Minnesota and other higher educational institutions, and with our unions. Partners with our park board and our school board. We are not in this alone, and we can't do this alone. As you look around the room today, you're going to see that this is a really big tent. <laughs> It was a big tent when I started out 23 years ago in the living room of my house when I first ran for office. And a couple of really important people to me aren't with us in the big tent anymore. They're with us watching the big tent. Amelia Brown, who taught me how to be a community organizer, wouldn't be here without her leadership and her love. And my dad, Jack Parker, 
who uh, told me that I should always go out there, do my best, work hard, but most importantly, at the end of the day, had to be able to look myself in the mirror and know that what I'd done, I was proud of. We all came together 23 years ago to build a better Fifth Ward, and now we're coming together to build a better city of Minneapolis. There are people in this room who sometimes disagree with each other. There are people that I've disagreed with. <laughs> there are people from various political parties in this room. We have Republicans. <laughs> we have Democrats. We have Independents. <laughs> Some folks have political experience. Can't get much more experience than Linda or Kathleen O'Brien or former Mayor of Sharon Sales Belton or Walter Rackenstein. <laughs> And there are some people for whom this is your first campaign. <laughs> Angela Kingsbury, who is my new media queen, uh, this is the first time for her, so we're welcoming her into this. We have representatives of small and large businesses. We have people from all of the neighborhoods of our city in this room. This crowd looks like our city, mm -hmm. and I'm really proud of that. Our city is a big tent, and it's going to take everyone in that tent to put Minneapolis back to work. So like my dad said, I'm going into this to work hard. I'm never going to leave any stone unturned. I'm going to give it my absolute best. And I'm going to be proud every day of what I do out there on the campaign trail and what I do as your mayor. My commitment to this city is to listen and to always be open to learning new ways of doing things, to be disciplined in my approach, and to be accountable to you, the citizens. I'm committed to our city's future. My family and our team is committed to the city's future. So I ask you, join us. Join us in building a city of Minneapolis that works for everyone. Great. Right. Thank you. Right.